In this clip, I'll provide a quick overview of stairs. The add-on provides a new tool in the standard toolbar for selecting and placing stairs and railings. I'll start with the stair tool. Note that when I open the settings, there's no need to hunt through the library for stair objects as you would do with the object tool. The starting point for a stair is choosing the basic configuration of stair treads and structure, not the stair shape or layout. So my stair could be solid, on stringers, or floating. I'll use a solid stair for this exercise. There are many design and annotation options for stairs, including the treads and risers, structure, Symbol and annotation and plan, head clearance, and attributes with all the usual pens and surfaces. I'll set my stair to one meter wide and click the middle hotspot to set out the stair from the center line. Now I can start setting out the stair path. The stair tool works much like any polyline. Once I've clicked on a start point, it displays a rubber banded image of the stair as I move the mouse, and every subsequent click adds a segment to the stair path, and I can step back by pressing backspace or delete. I also have a palette for the path geometry, a curve tangential to the last edge, a curve tangential to a defined vector, a three-point arc, or a curve fitted to two points and a center. Continuous flights will automatically add winders. And if I draw a straight flight, add two segments at the corner, and then continue up, I get winders at the corner. The object provides many smart hotspots. I can, for example, move the brake line in plan. I can see many more options by opening the stair settings, viewing the floor plan symbol panel, and selecting tread shapes or flight shapes. We'll look at tread shapes first. I can curve the leading edges of the treads, or the sides. Now we'll look at the flight shapes editing. This allows me to widen the flight and offset the edges, or add a curve to the path. And we can see the results in 3D. Now I'll apply this tool to a building model to illustrate how I can also include landings. If I open the settings, I want to trace around the outside. I'll start with a stair flight, and then click in the palette to switch to a landing, and then back to a stair flight again. Now I'd like to add a railing. We have a railing tool in the standard toolbar. I can pick from a simple handrail, or horizontal rails, timber rails and balusters, or panels. Like the stair, there are many options for configuration, handrail, newels, balustrades, plan view, 
end attributes, including all the usual pens and surfaces. I can place a rail like any other object, or, more interestingly, I can apply them directly to a stair. If I select the stair, and select CAD image, stairs, place railings. I'll pick a simple handrail in this case. And now the add-on gives a preview of where the handrails will be added with a thick black line, either to the left, or the right, or on both sides. And when I click, the railing is placed. We can see our finished stair and railing in 2D. If I put down a marquee, we can also see it in 3D. And that's it. Thanks for watching.